The Mera Barons is a comic book series about the story of a dynasty of perfect warriors, written by Alejandro Jodorowsky and illustrated by Juan Jimenez. This series shows a world where fantasy and science fiction blend to build an epic tale of patricide, destiny, incest, and blood in the purest tradition of Greek tragedies. The Mera Barons has its seat in the saga The Incal by Alejandro Jodorowsky and Mobius, a masterpiece of contemporary European comics. There, a simple secondary character who crosses the path of John the Fool, protagonist of the series, becomes a relevant and attractive character with enough charisma to earn his own space. He was the last of the Mera Barons, the nameless one, the one who decides not to have offspring to ensure his survival. This character appears without too much explanation in the ink call, and Hodorowsky wanted to clarify the mystery of his origin. For that, he needed a comic artist. Hodorowsky works his script according to the artist and not the other way around. He had known Juan Jimenez's work for a long time and admired the realism he projected in his universes, and he thought he was the perfect artist to develop a new epic story full of fury, passion, and clashes of metal and flesh. The publishing house Les Humanoid Associates prepared a meeting between the two at the end of the 80s, but it did not work out. Jimenez refused to collaborate with Hodorowsky. The Argentine artist had heard unflattering things about the Chilean. He was presented as an unbearable guru with two eccentric habits. Besides, Juan Jimenez wrote his own scripts and committing to a project that would keep him away from his personal universe did not motivate him. It was years later when the publishing house with another directive put them in contact and they had a lunch where Jodorowsky showed Jimenez that beyond a somewhat eccentric personality, he was not what the bad tongues said. So after that conversation, Alejandro Jodorowsky got his artist to the ability to represent images that bordered on hyperrealism to develop a Homeric story in an immense universe. Juan Jimenez was inspired by paintings of Rembrandt, the Renaissance, and the Napoleonic era for the illustrations of the Meta Barons. He also takes ideas from more modern artists such as Norman Rodwell and Italian illustrators of the early 20th century. The collaboration with Hodorowsky changed the way he drew landscapes and characters compared to his previous works. The script's simplest blend of futuristic technology with medieval customs surprised Jimenez and made him strive to depict this contrasting hybrid element in as much detail as possible. He created sophisticated, technologically advanced machines and costumes inspired by medieval ages and samurai culture. The story arises from the narration that Tonto, a small robot servant of the Mera Baron caste, tells Lothar, another service robot with a huge and giddy appearance, who always asks him for a story to entertain him. These two characters, in perpetual dispute, persist throughout the eight volumes of the story. The Mera Barons tells the legend of Autumn, Agnar, Steelhead, Agora, and the nameless Mera Baron. Each warrior is mutilated by his father in his youth to test the resistance to pain and receive a powerful mechanical body part as a replacement for the destroyed limb. In each generation, the son and heir must face his father in a battle to death. This battle have taken many forms from hand-to-hand -hand combat to space duels and succession is only achieved when the son succeeds in killing his father. They have a strict code of honor called Bushitaka, named after Japanese Bushido, 
It demands that practitioners dedicate themselves to victory in all things and any cost, where the only alternative to victory is death, and they even abandon their own family members in the pursuit of total victory. Each meta baron has a number of advanced weapons. These include cybernetically implant lasers, body implant nanotech warheads, swords that can disintegrate in boards of flame, and advanced spacecraft. Many of the meta barons also display powerful psychic abilities. This lineage of invincible warriors lives on a planet that holds a great secret, Epiphy, a substance capable of stripping gravity from any object, no matter how large, and an accident triggers the event. The saga is full of adventures, battles, murders, betrayals, great love stories, incest, patricide, and everything that Hodorowsky's wild imagination is used to. Autumn, the castrated one, he is the paladin of the galaxy, but he cannot have children until he meets Honorata, a powerful witch who managed to get pregnant with a single drop of his blood. Agnor, the son of Autumn and Honorata, he is able to levitate in the air, so his father mutilated his feet and replaced them with metal boots that allow him to stay on the ground. Steelhead, Agnar's son, is the most extreme case. His father rips off his head and he grows up with a cybernetic brain that prevents him from having feelings until he finds the head of the last poet of the galaxy and puts it on, which allows him to conquer the heart of Doña Gabriela. When they are expecting twins, the birth is complicated and Steelhead must implant the boy's brain in the girl's body so that at least one of them survives. Agora, son of Steelhead and Doña Gabriela, trapped in the body of a woman, decides to mutilate his breast with laser surgery. His father recognizes her as his heir. Autumn the great-great-grandfather, Honorata, the great-great-grandmother, Agnar, the great-grandfather, Oda, the great-grandmother, Stillhead, the grandfather, Doña Vicenta Gabriela de Rocha, the grandmother, Agora, the father-mother, nameless, the last Merabaron. This one is essential science fiction comics for lovers of this genre, with a story out of the head of one of the great writers of the medium, the great Alejandro Jodorowsky, accompanied with the most extraordinary graphic art. The story of the Meta Barons would not be the cult work it is without the contribution of the talent of Juan Jimenez. Proof of this is that Hodorowsky tried to resurrect the Meta Barons in 2008 and 2014 with Dial the first ancestor and the rival twins, but despite the undeniable talent of the artist, the results were not the same. For many people, the true Meta Baron will be today and always drawn by the hand of that Argentinian creator of universes, 